Welcome to episode 1 of my ramen series and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make a decent ramen stock only using the things from supermarkets. There's a lot of ramen recipes out there suggesting the use of different types of pork bones or chicken feet which are quite difficult to find. But if you're cooking ramen at home, that is not necessary. And I can tell you that from my experience of working at a ramen restaurant. To make the stock, we need some pork shoulder which is going to be used to make chasu, some pork belly which is also for the chasu. Instead of pork bones, we're going to use pork spare ribs. The meat around the bones releases such nice umami. And finally, chicken wings. They work perfectly for making stocks. Alright, protein wise, this is everything. Firstly, we're going to boil the meat to clean and remove the scum. Put all the meat into a large deep pot. Pour in enough water to cover the meat. Heat the pot on the highest heat and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, turn off the heat and strain. Be very careful not to burn yourself with the hot water and steam. Rinse the pork and chicken wings under running cold water to remove impurities. Do not skip this process otherwise your stock will end up having a funky smell. Don't forget to wash the pot to refresh it as well. Now let's move on to the actual stock making process. Place all the rinsed meat back into the pot. It's better to put the chashu meat at the end because we're going to take them out later. It's easier if they're on top. Now fill the pot with some cold water. Place it onto the stove. Now start heating the pot on the highest heat. Once it comes to a boil, turn down to medium and remove the scum thoroughly. After that, boil for an hour over medium heat. Now it's been an hour since I started boiling. At this point, let's take out the meat for cha siu. Now carefully remove the pork belly and the pork shoulder. Be careful not to break them up because they are already quite tender. Now from this point, continue boiling for an hour. Now it's time to add the vegetables, aromatics and kombu to the stock. What this will do is that vegetables will add sweetness, the kombu will add another layer of umami, and aromatics will tone down the gaminess of the pork and chicken. Here's what we need. Some Chinese cabbage, roughly chopped carrot, some slices of ginger, green onion, roughly chopped onion, and last but not least, some kombu. Let's put them into the stock that's been simmering. But before we do that, it looks like the stock has evaporated a lot, so let's top it up with some water. Now let's add the kombu. Next slice of ginger. In goes the green onion, white onion, Chinese cabbage, and finally the carrot. Just to give it a quick stir around to make sure that everything is submerged. From this point, simmer for 90 minutes on a medium heat. Don't forget to skim off the scum as well. Now 30 minutes later, take out the kombu, otherwise it will get slimy, start to dissolve and mess up the whole stock. Now 90 minutes have gone by, so let's have a look at the stock. If the stock is reduced to about 2 thirds of the original water amount, that means it's ready to go. Now we're gonna take out all the things in the stock and leave it to cool down. Using a mesh ladle or strainer, take out everything in the stock. Now it's done. Cool down the stock and rest it overnight in the fridge. This way the flavors will mellow down and get balanced out. You can find the amount of each ingredient in the description box below, so please check it out as well. Alright guys, that was how to make a decent ramen stock only with the things from supermarkets. I'll see you in my next ramen video.